aren't I good at dancing? Well, I used to love dancing though, I don't know. I always wanted to, you know, do dancing, a little bit of dancing alongside teaching. But somehow, I just haven't had enough time for it. I just haven't had time for it. That's it, really. I can dance, I'm a good dancer. Okay, so our 46th question says, okay, the instruction here says, underline the correct answer, which should be in the blank space in numbers 46 to 50. So our 46th question says, after the dash, the error code. And option A, rains. Option B, raining. Option C, rain. Option D, should rain. And option E, rain. Which is it? Let's see. Which is it? Now, after the dash, the error code, after the rain, rain is the correct answer. And I know you ask me why. And it's because it is a noun. In this sentence, it is functioning as a noun. And in the above sentence, okay, in this sentence, it is used as a noun and not as a verb. Okay? Now, I know you'll ask me why. It's because in this sentence, it is functioning as a noun. And the rain, that is arrow, arrow, A-I-N, without the S, functions as nouns in sentences. While rain, that is the one with the S, functions as verbs in sentences. So in this particular sentence, it is functioning as a noun and not a verb. So we go with rain. You can speak it all you like. Or point to correction. But... Rain. So after the rain, the air cold. After the rain, the air cold. And we have option E as our correct answer. Rain. So rain usually functions as nouns, while rains function as verbs. Don't forget that. For the seventh question, my father dash his food. Option A has ate. Option B is eaten. Option C has eaten. Option D eaten and option E will have eaten, which is correct. My father has eaten his food. Now has shows singular. It's a singular form because it's just my father. One person has, not have. Remember have is for plurality when there are more than one. But in this case, it's just my father. So it is has. And we choose eaten. That is the E-A-T-E-N. E-A-T-N. Because it's the past perfect tense. Okay? So this singular has, that uh, it's actually an auxiliary verb, acts as an auxiliary verb. It goes with past perfect tense. Okay? So there's nothing like has ate, there's nothing like has um, eat. We can only have has eaten, has written. Okay? So there we have it. My father has eaten his food. Option C has eaten his food. You see, it sounds better in your ears, doesn't it? So I put the eighth question. There is dash sugar in the tea. A much, B many, C plenty, D light up, and E great. Which is it? Now I know that when it comes to classifying quantities and. Uh, the correct form of adjectives to classify quantities. It can be a little confusing, especially in the use of many and much. People tend to interchange the use of many and much in different sentences incorrectly, and that is wrong. Okay? Now, many is used for countable nouns. We use the adjective many to qualify countable nouns, like people. Okay? When you say there are many people waiting for you, you don't say there are much people waiting for you, you say there are many people waiting for you. Now much on the other hand is used for uncountable nouns. For example, say green food, hmm? for example, salt, beans, rice, you know, they're not countable, right? We can't count salt and we can't count rice. So 
for example, sugar. Sugar is a green food, it is green. So sugar is uncountable, you can't count sugar. So you say, there is much sugar in the tea, not there is many sugar. Now, we could have used plenty of if it wasn't the option. Now, there's a difference between plenty and plenty of. You can't say there is plenty sugar in the tea, no. If there is no of attached to the plenty, then it's wrong. You can't say there is plenty sugar in the tea. You can only say there is plenty of sugar in the tea. But of course, you don't have plenty of in the options. So we go with much. There is much sugar in the tea. So much is most appropriate to fill the gap. And we have it, much, option A. Boom. So 49. Theresa is cleverer than Lucy, but Rose is the dash. A, clever. B, more clever. C, much clever. D, cleverest. E, most clever. Which is it? Now, these are adjectives. If you remember when we were taught adjectives in school, there is something called comparative and superlative. It's like usually in a table of form, remember? Adjectival words, that's adjectives, and then the comparative forms and the superlative forms. Okay? Now, comparative forms are usually used when you are comparing two things or two people. But the superlative form is used when you're comparing more than two people. That's three and uh, both. So here we are comparing three people. That's Theresa, Lucy, and Rose. Those are the three names involved. So cleverest is the superlative form of the adjective clever. So we use cleverest. So you can say now that Theresa is cleverer than Lucy. That's when you're comparing just Theresa and Lucy. But now we're talking about three people, Theresa, Lucy, and Rose. So you say Theresa is cleverer than Lucy, but Rose is the cleverest. Okay, so we have our option D, cleverest. Don't forget that. Superlative, comparative, don't forget that. And then our final question. 50th question. That's for now. Not final, not final, not final, not final. So our 50th question is, Ula is young, but Ugoma is dash. Now remember what I taught you? Remember what went in the first questions? I said comparative for two, superlative for three or more. So we have options A, youngest, B, young, C, older, D, younger, and E, eldest. Which is it? So we have younger. Remember, younger. E, R, for uh, when you're comparing two. So that is the comparative form. Younger. So Ulo is young, but Ugoma is younger. You're comparing Ulo and Ugoma. So younger is the comparative form of the adjective young, which is used when comparing two elements, like I taught you. So our option D is correct. Younger. Ah, it's been an exciting time with you guys. I hope you're as happy as I am. I'm really happy to have you guys. I'm happy you're having me. I'm happy you are here with me. I'm happy you are learning with me. But that doesn't stop me from liking and commenting. It doesn't stop me from liking and commenting. So please don't forget to like and comment. Okay? Comment, comment. Your comments, like I always say, matter a lot to us. Here with that. Then I just say prep. I mean, say prep. <laughs> so here at prep class, we await your reaching out. We await your reaching out. We look forward to you reaching out to us. Okay, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to, of course, share with all of your friends. Let them hear about prep class. Let them know what prep class offers. Okay? And let's all learn together and conquer those mm, questions. <laughs> I'll miss you guys, but of course I'm going nowhere. I'm still here with you, always here. Okay, so I look forward to learning with you more in my successive videos. Not mine, sorry, our. Oh, in our successive videos. Our oh, successive videos. Our oh, videos. Okay, so take care. 
and some just stop saying it. Stay safe. Bye.